Hello everyone, welcome back to Last Call BBS. I figured let's try to make it a little bit more of a dent in Dungeons and Diagrams today, see if we can at least finish off this row. Okay, well look at the, oops, ah, even when they give me a bunch of zeros I can't figure it out. This seems like a pretty generous start. I assume it gets hard some other way. There's only two walls, this can't be the last one because that would be a problem. This, one of these is open, which means this is a wall, and the rest of these are open. This all has to be walls. Wow. So far a very generous start, I must say. Uh, this can't be the last wall in the column. We've already got, no, we need one more of these to be a wall. We need one of these to be open, and the rest to be walls. Hmm. This has to be part of the treasure room, right? Well, this does, certainly. And I don't think this could possibly be the exit to the treasure room, right? So it has to be the treasure room, which means we get this. Now this is the exit to the treasure room, and we have walls here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I thought, I thought one of these two was a wall, but they both are. Yeah, like, this is so much easier than the last one. I don't know, man. These don't always seem to be in the best difficulty order. Some of it, I'm sure, is just that, like I'm missing something obvious in some of them and getting it in others, but I feel like I, I would be an idiot to miss something that simple on the previous puzzle, right? This is the Demon Prince of Wrath, by the way. If there's no obvious starting points on this one yet, like there, that last one was just a gimme all the way through. Okay, I guess there, that's a starting point. Treasure Room has to reach that far. Don't know yet if it goes up or down. But whichever way it does, it uses up all four of the non-wall spaces in this column. So that has to be filled in. Kind of cool. These two have to either both be walls or both be non-walls, right? Is that interesting somehow? I think so. I say that because suppose it were like this. Then I was thinking there would be a dead end, but actually that's not true. <laughs> Forget that. Um, this is illegal, but this could be possible. Ah, this can't be part of the treasure room because then the exit through the treasure room would be a monster. So the treasure room has to go down a bit. And it seems unlikely that this is part of the treasure room, and I think we can prove it's not, right? Well, I mean, I don't know. It would make the rest of this all walls. And this all walls. And I don't know. 
I thought it would be interesting somehow. This would have to be a wall, because this can't be the exit, because it can't go up or left. So that would be a wall. This would all be open. Walls. I don't know, at this point I'm just like bifurcating. I'm not actually finding any interesting proof about what this does. There's only one more open space in this column. And it has to be part of the treasure room. So it can't be here. Sure. That gives us this. Now we know all the open spaces in this column are consumed by the treasure room plus this, so these are both walls. This can't be open, right? Because then there'd be no way for the treasure room to finish. So that's closed as well, and we get this. These six columns look interesting, don't they? Somehow. Also, I guess worth asking, can the treasure room go up? It's getting harder now because there's only two, sorry. Hmm. Could the treasure room end here? Could there not be treasure room? Could this be like the wall column? Well, it's just barely possible that we would have walls there, right? Then we would have to open everything else up. And all of this. Ah, it's, it's so much easier than this. I could have gotten this quite early. The treasure room can never extend down to here because then there'd be four open spaces in this row. So the treasure room goes up to there. Great. And we know all of these must be walls, both because of the column and because otherwise there'd be no exit. No, this could be open, right? It could go like this or something. It couldn't, because then it would have to loop around. So that's a wall. This can't be open, because then... No, it wouldn't be a dead end, would it? In principle, these could both be open. No, because then the treasure room would be leading to a dead end, so that's not allowed. So these can't both be open, which means this can't be open. This row is still not too illuminating. We know most of these squares are walls, but we don't know they all are. The exit could be here if this were a wall. Seems hard, but probably not impossible. Actually, I don't know, maybe it is impossible for this to be a wall. Because then we'd have to go up to the monster and we'd have to go this way as well. I don't know. I don't see any obvious answers there.
So, I mean, obviously one of the two walls in this column is used up here. At least one. There's the most one walls in this whole area, but I don't think that really ma Like, that's not a surprise. Could, okay, could this be open? Maybe is a better question to ask. I think maybe? Because that would put the exit to the treasure room here. And we'd need a wall there. That would be open. That would fill all this in. Hmm. Hang on. Okay, I think this is giving me a better idea for what to do. Maybe not. In this whole call row, this whole row, there's exactly one more open space, right? I guess that isn't that interesting. Well, it's a little interesting. Maybe? Like, could this be the last open space? Obviously not. These would both be walls. This would be an isolated dead end. So that's a wall. And one of the two walls in this column, which could be interesting. I don't think this could be open either, right? Because that would mean this has to be open, and that would be all the openings in this column. So we'd have to go over here. This would have to be a wall to avoid a two by two, and then we would just connect up to that. Yes, that's not possible. This has to be a wall. Can this be open? I think it maybe could be. We'd have to make this our only, no, it couldn't be. So if this were open, these would all be walls and this would be a two by two. So that's a wall as well. Ah, now we can look at this area. It has exactly one of these two open, so that's a wall. Now one of these two are open, but I'm not sure what to make of that. And we've gotten one of the two walls in this column as well. But I don't know what to do about that. Okay, this six is probably interesting, right? I think it is actually, because six walls means two open spaces. And we can ask, are those open spaces adjacent or are they not adjacent? If they're adjacent, that means you're kind of like the path through here is taking a zigzag. It comes in from somewhere on the side, goes here, down, over. And it can't go like over on both ends because that would make a two by two. So suppose, right, that these two were adjacent. The only way you could take a path through like that would be as if you went like from the treasure room to here, up, and then you can't go up, so you must be going left. And could you go left here? No, because that would be a two by two. So this would have to be a wall as well. So if they're adjacent, it represents a single entrance to this area and then a jog to the side. Now, is that possible in this column? I don't think it is because there's no way to make an exit for both this section of the, the grid and this section of the grid through a single jogged passage through this column. You could try joining them up here, then going left and jogging up or down, but either way, you're gonna break the rules somehow. So I think this has to have 
two non-adjacent holes in it. And that means like this can't be one of them. These have to be like separated. Oh, that was already true. Okay, fine. But now I can also say there's a wall here, which is cool. And we end up getting this. And all this as well, that's nice. We've walled off the Demon Prince of Wrath. We know there's one hole in here somewhere, but we don't really have any idea where yet. Now this six has a kind of similar setup, I feel like, right? Could there be two adjacent holes in this area? I don't think so. Because it would imply entering from two different spots on the right, and then both of them going left, and that would make a two by two. So there can't be two adjacent holes in this. We can't quite say where either of the non-adjacent holes are, can we? Uh, hang on, this five, I guess, is interesting. There's only one more wall here, and it can't be this one, so that's open. Okay, not very instructive. Um, oh, a little, actually. Since there are two paths through this column, and we require two paths to be able to get from this area to this area, we can't have a monster blocking any of the holes, right? So this can't be open. There would be no way to connect this to this anymore. So I think that has to be a wall, which gives us this and this, and then this and this. Oh, and the column, look at this, we're taking it home, unless something bad happens in a sec. Unless I find out something I've done is wrong, that would be sad. This can't be the last open space, right? Yeah. Also, we have to fill in the row. Ah! Disaster. Did I make a mistake here somehow? I don't want to back up more than I have to. But no, from here you clearly have to put this in and then fill these. Right, like that. And then, yeah. Okay, so let's back up to when I made my conclusion about this guy. Was that also incorrect? Yeah, I guess maybe it could be. Because I was saying there's no way to reconnect these areas, this area to this area, without going through here twice. But you could do that, and then you'd only need one wall through this, one path through this wall. So yeah, I think that was an unfounded claim. Well, I mean, having tested it, of course, we could say, oh, obviously, since we thought this had to be a wall and we ran into trouble, therefore it must not be a wall. But that's not a very satisfying way to solve things. Let's just guess and check, right? How can we find a justified solution? Well, mm, Hmm. 
ah, this has to be a wall, right? Because if it were open, it would be the path out of the treasure room and would have to continue left because there would be walls here. And then it would run into this monster and that would be the end of the path. So that's a wall. Okay, that's cool, I guess. I still think this wall, this column is somehow valuable. The fact that there's only one wall in this column doesn't really tell me very much, I feel like. There's also only one wall in this row? I'm thinking like can this be a wall I think the answer is no somehow but I don't think there's any real argument for that and even if I could prove it it wouldn't be that interesting well we can say something slightly interesting about this row which is that this segment and this segment are not connected along this row. They have to connect somewhere else. And they can't really be connected along this row either, because that would suggest that this is all non-wall, and that's not the case. So they must duck down into this section and then meet up in here somewhere. Actually, what about these squares? Could they both be open? Maybe. Well, but maybe not, right? Oh, actually, I think I was wrong with what I said about them having to dip down through here. They totally could go like this to connect them back up. I was thinking this is wrong because it makes, like, a closed section without connecting all this, but you're still allowed to branch off of that. Yeah, I think that was wrong. So they could connect up in here, and it seems likely that they do even, maybe. This being a wall seems very unlikely, actually. Because then these would both have to be non-walls. And so would all of this. And then we immediately run into problems down here, yeah. So this is actually open, which means this is the wall in this area. I don't know, that was a little bit of bifurcation, but just like, you don't have to go very far to prove it wrong, and it seemed like it should be wrong, so okay, fine. I'll allow it. If this were a wall, this would also have to be a wall, but I don't necessarily see... Ah, we would be making two by twos down there, so that's no good. So that's open. Oh, 
which means this is closed. Where's the last wall in this area? It can't be here. That would be a dead end. So it's, and it can't be here because this would be a dead end. If we know that two of these are walls, don't we know that the middle one has to be one of those walls? Because if this were open with walls on either side, it would be a dead end because of this six, right? So that's a wall. And these two kind of form an interesting, these two diagonals are you know, we have one of these two and one of these two, and it's almost like a star battle, right? They have to not be touching and so on, I think. Yeah. Can this be a wall? I think it can't, right? Because then this would have to be open, but it would be bumping into a wall. So if that's open, that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, ah, can this be a wall? It can't, right? Because then whoever goes into this area is definitely hitting a dead end. So that's open, and we get a wall there. And now we finally proved the thing we accidentally discovered by bifurcation a while ago, that this, in fact, it is possible for this to be heading to a monster. Phew. Okay, it's one more, I think, and to fill out. Oh, two more for the row. Jesus Christ. I'm so bad at this game. Krogmar's Last Stand. Like, why did they make some of these so much easier? I don't know. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched, I guess, but this is a much stronger start than I usually get. Okay, but like the rest of this, it's not entirely clear what to do. Well, okay, this can't be a wall, right? So that's open, which means this is all done. One more wall only in this entire column, huh? That's a little interesting, I think. I feel like there would be trouble if it were here. So we'd have all this open. Actually, that seems fine. This would be a wall, this would connect up. Yeah, it seems all right. And here there's only one non-wall. So only one way in through this area. Ah, that does seem interesting. Because... It means you can't like go through here and then loop back, right? No, there's only one non-wall. 
There's only one wall here. But then there's there's only right. So you can't ever like well, I don't know, I guess you could do this. Yeah, that's possible. I was gonna say you can't ever double back while you're like following along in a straight line, but you kind of can, as long as you leave a gap. Okay, where's the last wall in this column? It can't, or this row, it can't be here. Uh, could be in any of these spaces though, right? There's only one more non-wall this whole row, huh? But since we already have something cutting through here, that doesn't tell us that much about connectivity, I think. I think the six column is the answer somehow, but I always think that, and then it usually isn't true. Well, what are the places where we could put the wall in this column? It could be here, in which case, you know, something like this, right? I mean, I guess it tells you a lot. Ah, that's a problem. Oh, also, but I messed this up. So, wall here, obviously we can just bifurcate. I feel bad about it, but I don't know higher dungeons diagrams you get this and this and all that ah this whole row is now overfilled I see so you can't do that because there's only one non wall in this row one open space and so you can't go up from the monster and then turn right. If you went up from the monster, you'd have to continue up, which is impossible. So I guess we get this. And we know that the last wall has to be one of these two, or there'd be an open space. So this can't be a wall. And that gives us the row. Yeah, I meant to do that. There we go. All right, I think we can finish off this this row before I like pass out from the lulling, soothing tones of dungeons and diagrams. Uh, catacombs of the Lich's army. I see. Well, the treasure has to go out to at least here. That's cool. There's only one more non-wall non non here. Ah, these two treasure rooms must be divided. So this one goes out to here. And it can't go two steps to the right because it would be part of this guy and this guy. So it has to go at least a little to the left. So this can't be how the treasure rooms are connected, right? Or it can't be how either one of them exits. We finished up this treasure room. Uh, 
This can't be open, so it's a wall. In fact, there's only one more open space along this row now, or from the beginning, because of this guy, really. So where could it be? Not here. Not here, right? Yeah. Not here. All right, so it could be either of these two, it looks like. Wait a minute. It can't be here. Could it be here? No. So I guess we have this, right? That finishes the column, which is nice. Okay, not too bad. We've made it through half of Dungeons and Diagrams. I am I am done with it. It's I don't know. I seem I feel like I should like this puzzle and I don't dislike it, but I there's just like long periods where I'm not making any progress and ready to fall asleep. And then there's, you know, oh, brief moments of, oh, everything's going great. I don't know. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I don't think we're going to do another puzzle day. I don't really want to do more Dungeons and Diagrams. There's not time to do anything else. So, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.